Hey guys, what's up? It's Haley, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought it would be really cool to go ahead and take it back. Since we're in the start of a new year, I want to go ahead and take you guys into the thrift store today and pretty much kind of give you a little beginners to thrifting guide for all of you guys that are constantly leaving me comments saying that you're having a tough time at your thrift stores. You never know what to look for and you just feel like I'm the only one that gets lucky. All of you guys can have a really great thrifting experience, hopefully by following this guide. So I'm super excited to get into it. I wrote an entire list of what you guys want to look for in every single section of the thrift store. And without further ado, here's our first thrift trip of 2020. <laughs> If you're looking for that perfect high-waisted fit mom jean, the men's section is where it's at. When it comes to men's jeans, size 28 is typically the smallest size of jeans that you would find at a thrift store. And this is usually where I like to personally shop for my jeans. I am typically a size 4 to 6 in H&M sizes. Right off the bat, look at that. We found a beautiful pair of old school Wranglers. I feel like at this point I've shopped for so much denim that I can just look at a pair of jeans and be able to see whether it's high-waisted or not. But for you guys who need a little bit more help, what I would suggest is to actually go ahead and bring a tape measure with you. This one has both centimeters and inches. I prefer to look at the inches. This is literally the best hack for you guys to figure out which pair of denim has a high waist fit. All right, you guys, so I think we scored on a really nice pair. It's a signature pair of Levi's. With super low cut jeans, you actually see that the button fly kind of ends around here. So this one already looks like it's gonna be pretty high waisted, but let's take it a step further. And what I'm actually gonna do is go ahead and measure from the bottom seam to the top of the button fly. Make sure to stretch it straight. And as you guys can see, the length over here is about 13 inches. And I personally consider any waist above 11 inches to be a higher waist fit. Most of the time, Levi's would have these tag, which first of all, indicate the size of the waist and the length, but it always has a little coded number as well. This coded number is actually what indicates the style of the pair of denim. And my absolute favorite style of Levi's is actually the ones I'm wearing right now. As you guys can see, they're so high-waisted. They even pass my belly button, and this is what the little tag looks like. I did find them thrifted a while ago, brand new with tags. They're my favorite fit. So if you guys can score some 521s or some 531s, those are amazing fits too. So right now we are actually here and we're gonna go ahead and check out the sweatpants area. I personally love shopping in the men's sweatpants section because I am somebody who loves being comfortable. If I'm not wearing my favorite vintage jeans, I'm probably wearing some sweats. And I always make sure to sift through every single one because you never know exactly where you might find what size. Oh my God, you guys. That is actually insane. I actually have a pair of these champion um, snap pants in red and I've always dreamed to find a black pair in a small size and these are perfect. second pair obviously a larger size I feel like this was donated by one little brother and one big brother never pass on the new racks because that is usually where I find the absolute best stuff because it hasn't been picked over yet like I said you guys do not pass up on the new racks because I actually just found some champion sweats in an actual small size which is kind of amazing because I haven't been able to find a small size pair of champions in forever these ones actually have a wide leg here at the bottom but I also have a thrift flip idea for these guys All right, you guys, so now we actually went ahead and made our way to the hoodies and sweatshirt section, otherwise known as my absolute favorite section. And I genuinely believe like the men's section is filled to the brim with so many amazing like vintage-esque sweaters and hoodies. All right, you guys, so we actually just scored with a little Nike crew neck in a beautiful navy color. It's a size medium, only $9.99. Great deal. Are you freaking kidding me right now? This legit looks so vintage. $8.99, size medium. This incredible little Nashville, almost kind of like a gray tie-dye sweater. And this definitely looks like something I would see on Brandy Melville right now. So yes, everybody seems to just have a love for men's t-shirts and I totally get it. In sections like this, there's not much to it. There's no secret. You really just gotta go through every single one. And I mean every single one. Things that are really trendy right now are things like tie-dyes, logos, um, band tees is definitely huge. Things like race car, NASCAR t-shirts. I really love those and have a couple of those already. This says it's a men's size large. It definitely looks more like a large kids, but you guys know how much I love yellow and I love that this kind of looks like it's been spray painted on, but this whole California logo, definitely something I've been seeing on Brandy Melville right now. Not sure of the brand, but I will pick this up. 
Banties, remember you guys, Bon Jovi t-shirt. I really love this backing with all these colors. Super sick. Calgary Flames, definitely some kind of sports tee, but I really like this orange color. Another awesome little DIY project, but I just love the tie-dye color on this. I've been super into tie-dye and I just love that this is like mostly white with little spurts of green in there. Little Nike Air tee, definitely too new looking for my liking, so I will pass it up. Look at this racing tee, how sick is that? Definitely big. I would so wear this as an oversized t-shirt with some like light denim jeans in the summertime. Yeah. Do not underestimate the kids section. I mean, right here in the large and extra large sizes, I found a couple of my favorite sweaters, t-shirts, even jeans sometimes. Even though it's a size large kids, it can definitely fit a smaller size petite person. So don't pass that up too. And even if you're super petite, even size 28 of the men's section wouldn't fit you. The large, extra large size of the kids can be a perfect match. Some of my absolute favorite bomber jackets and sporty jackets have been found here in the kids section as well it really reminds me of one of those race car jackets and it really reminds me of the ferrari jacket i thrifted a little while back pretty much this is where i come whenever i want to go ahead and look for some fun funky pants you guys know me and how much i love my plaid my corduroy i love textures and patterns when it comes to bottoms i feel like it makes an outfit so much more stylish grab a little tape measure and look for something that is 12 inches or above to indicate a nice high waist fit you don't want to go ahead and just stick to your size in the section because pants that may have been labeled a small size back then may be bigger now and vice versa and specifically for tees i obviously like to look for little crop tops because i feel like they look super flattering on me i really love this green color with the sequin detail but also square necklines thin spaghetti straps those are a few things that i always love sporting in every season Lululemon actually offers a service where you can get any Lululemon top, no receipt, nothing, hemmed for free. So you can actually go ahead and grab any of these little Lululemon tank tops and have them cropped for free at the length that you want. Seriously, such a genius hack. So I'm gonna pick up a couple of these and try that out for myself. Just found a cute little Calvin Klein bralette. It doesn't even look like it's been worn, so I'm definitely gonna go ahead and try this on. But I'm sure you guys have noticed some of my favorite stores like Aritzia have been selling these like knit cardigans that are super grandma chic and I've absolutely been loving this trend so I actually like coming to the thrift store and looking for little cardigans that I can pick up and wear as tops. So after taking a look there were just three little cardigans that caught my eye. This first one you guys know that I absolutely love yellow and I just love how soft this one feels so I do have to try it on because it is a size medium. I've been seeing a lot of cardigans with these little tie up detail that are kind of held together by that little string and I absolutely love this golden rust cardigan. Color. And then this last one is one you already saw, the kind of cardigan that I would probably tuck into my mom jeans. And I personally love checking out this section for slip dresses and slip skirts because everything satin and silky is super on trend right now. And I have still yet to find my perfect black slip dress, so that is something I'm on the hunt for today. But even all of these like silky kind of camis, there's so many options here for that. This silk top right here, it is so beautiful. I'm obsessed with this super thick chunk of lace. Obviously it needs to be stained, but if you wear these with some nip stickers, you are so good for a rocking outfit with a pair of jeans, ugh, amazing. But cheetah, leopard, I am still so into it and I feel like this top could actually fit pretty well with a pair of denim. We scored the humongous change room again and it's perfect because I want to go ahead and really show you how everything looks on. And one of my other tips for you guys before even coming to the thrift store, as you can see my outfit today is super basic. It's just a black little crop top with some high-waisted jeans. The reason this is the best thing to wear when you go to a thrift store is because that way you can try on all your bottoms with a basic black crop top to see if you like it and vice versa. You can try on any t-shirt and top with a basic pair of jeans that you love. So without further ado, let's go on ahead and start trying on some fun t-shirts. This little Bon Jovi tee I love especially the back i mean look at all those colors it's super soft feels so nice on too and i just love simple black tees such an easy look to pull together okay so with this next tee just a little yellow nike one i feel like the logo is set super high and that's usually what you get when you get kids t-shirts i'm just trying to figure out if i can still somehow make it work maybe if i turn it into a little cinch crop top so cool literally every single thing i love in a t-shirt it's like super oversized but it has a nice car racing graphic i just love the red with the yellow i feel like it looks so sick and even with like a pair of 
jeans in Air Force One, it already looks like such a cute look. But in the summertime with some denim shorts, you know I'm gonna be styling this. Yes, I'm in love with this t-shirt too. I love that it's like pretty much basic white, but it has a little bit of that green detail here and there. Really perfect if you want to sport the tie-dye trend, but you don't want to go a bit too overboard. And then this little tee, I actually love too. I tucked in the bottom into my bra to make it look a little bit more like a crop top, but I'm just really into the flames and the orange. This is, I'm pretty sure, a hockey team. Tried on this little t-shirt. I'm absolutely in love with this sequin detailing here. Tucked it in again to make it more of a crop top. I feel like with jeans, especially in the summer, this could be a super cute look, and I'm really into this green color. Okay, so currently trying on my absolute favorite, and it's the sweatshirts. It's honestly like a perfect oversized fit. I'm pretty sure this is a medium, and even though I've seen a bunch of these little um, crew necks before, I've never seen one in navy, so I'm really glad to pick this one up. Not gonna lie, it smells a little bit like cigarette smoke, so this is going in the laundry as soon as I get home. These were for sure donated by the same person because this also has that cigarette smoke smell but it's like nude and I don't have a single nude crew neck so I'm so happy about this one and seriously you guys I'm gonna be sporting this throughout the entire rest of the winter and summer and fall and spring and literally always I love it so now I'm trying on a couple of the little cardigans this first one is just the yellow one I do feel like it's too low to wear on its own but I even feel like wearing it as an actual cardigan over a little tank top probably over like a white tube top that would look super cute obviously I would probably wear it with a different top underneath i am thinking that i may crop this because i'm not crazy about this texture down here so i may crop it into a cute little tie-up cardigan but i really love this little tie detail and the fact that it's yellow and as i've mentioned i love wearing little cardigans as tops so that's why i chose this one i'm gonna have to pass on it just because as you can see it's a little bit too small i don't know if it's gonna really stretch out you can wear them buttoned up as its own top and i think it's a super cute look this little white lace cami is actually so beautiful the only thing is i feel like the straps are too long and they're not adjustable because you could actually see a bra underneath but just take a second to appreciate this lace. It's so beautiful. It's just a little leopard print one that we got from the lingerie section. It is kind of long and comes up to here, so I tucked it into my denim. Something very easy to like style in Florida. Maybe even wear it with like a high-waisted skirt. And I just feel like this look overall is just very reminiscent of the 90s. Okay, so I just tried on a pair of my Levi's. I was right. They're definitely high-waisted and they're a super cool fit. The only thing is they're um, like three or four sizes too big for me but I absolutely love this like baggy leg and this natural distressing that has happened over time but then a pair of pants that I definitely don't mind big and baggy are my sweats so I have these champion ones I love the fact that they're a super high waist fit if it covers my belly button I'm happy I like the way that that looks on and I'm gonna be honest I even love the fact that the bottom isn't cinched it kind of gives it more of like a slouchy feel kind of like the sweats my sisters used to wear back in the 2000s oh man I've just been getting so lucky with the sweats today so here are the smaller size champion snap pants as you guys can see they can like snap open you know the baggy sweats with the white sneakers i absolutely love this look something i've been super on the hunt for here is like a little mini purse really resemblant of the prada one um it's still on my thrift list to find it one day but some of my absolute favorite bags have been thrifted because i love how vintage and old school they are and the tip with this is that whenever you're looking for specific metals let's say you want sterling silver or gold you do want to see a stamp of like 925 ensuring that it is a legit metal and not something that will tarnish on you entire bag of stuff for under 90 bucks so i realized i completely forgot to film an outro so my apologies i probably got too excited with all of my new thrift finds but i hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give it a really big thumbs up if you did let me know down below if this helped you in any way if this is a guide you guys will actually go ahead and apply when you go into the thrift store also let me know which of these items was your favorite because i love talking to you be sure to go ahead and follow me on instagram if you guys want to see all the behind the scenes of how i style all my outfits using all of these thrifted pieces love you guys so much and i can't wait to see you in my next one bye